Previously, we talked about multiplying fractions and multiplying decimals. How about when we multiply a decimal and a fraction? So let's look at a couple of examples. Actually, let's look at three examples. Let's do 0.45 times two fifths. So one strategy is to express the decimal here as a fraction. So we can write it as 45 over 100. And then we can employ our method for multiplying fractions. So multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators. And then we want to simplify. So if I divide numerator and denominator by 5, I'll get 18 over 100. So as a decimal at 0 0.18. Let's do another example. Let's do 3 quarters times 1.6. So this time, let's express 1.6 as a fraction. So we could write down 16 over 10, but there's a common factor of 2 in 16 to 10. And so let's express that as 8 over 5 to make things a little simpler. And then multiply the numerators to get 24, multiply the denominators to get 20, and then let's simplify. So common factor of 2 again, so 12 over 10. So as a decimal, that's 1.2. And then last example, let's do 1.25 times 2 thirds. 1.25 as a fraction. Well, there's a few ways we could do this, but the simplest is probably just to write 5 over 4. And multiply that by 2 thirds. Multiply the numerators to get 10. Multiply the denominators to get 12. And then simplify to get 5 over 6. And here I'm going to stop. Previously, I went one more step and express the final answer as a decimal. But here I'm not going to do that because the decimal for 5 over 6 is not a terminating decimal, it's a repeating one. And so it's a little more accurate to leave the answer as a fraction in this case. So that's three examples of multiplying decimals and fractions.